Good evening, teacher. Hello, good evening. How are you? Very good. I'm very fine. Good. Yay. I am very happy to see you. How was your weekend? Mm, super bien. Super good. Very it was nice. Super very good. nice. Very nice. Excellent. I am very happy to hear that. So, another week, another opportunity to continue learning. Welcome, Guillermo. Welcome, Jonathan, Catherine, Lisette, Roberto, Francisco, Tati, and all the other ones that are going to join to the class in a moment. Right? I Is know. Your... Yes. Roberto, tell eh, me. Ahora, ahora es mi primer clase porque... Según lo que me comentó la muchacha que me escribió, hoy tenían mal mi, mi número. Entonces, hasta hoy se, se pudo comunicar conmigo. Entonces, por eso es mi primera clase. Ok, good. Welcome. Welcome, and it's a pleasure to see you again, Mr. Roberto. <laughs> I am very happy that you are here in the class, right? Thank you. Welcome back. You see, life always keeps us together. Yes. That is very nice. I am very happy to see you again. Well, uh, we have been working in a little review of the verb to be, right? We have been uh, studying the different forms of the questions, the different forms of introductions, that for sure, it's something that you already know because of the previous modules that you have been studying. But it is always good to um, refresh the knowledge and for you to continue practicing. Okay, welcome to all the ones that are joining to the session tonight. Many of you were consulting because of problems with the platform, right? Yeah, you were fighting with some exercises in the platform, but don't worry. Don't worry, I am always available. I am always open. No puede ser. Right, I am always open to help. Right? Hola, Rebeca, si sí puede ser. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> so I am going to go over the platform a little bit and we are going to check what has been like what have been the problems what are the things that you have completed and for sure if you have any question you can go on the platform with me okay today we receive a message that we should complete sections one and two so we are going to go over this one to see um, what can i uh, do to help you advance in many of the cases with the exercises on the platform, we need to read the instructions. We need to read the instructions to know what is the things, what are the things that we need to do in uh, the exercises. Because one of the most common questions is like, teacher, yo lo he escrito un montón de veces y no me sale. Y tal vez en la indicación decía que era lo que teníamos que hacer. But we don't read the instructions, ¿ok? Como típico salvadoreño, yo puedo, ya lo hago, déjenme, quítense. Yo lo voy a hacer. And then, ah, no leí las instrucciones. So we need to read the instructions. That's very important, read the instructions. So I am going to go through the platform a little bit for us to check that we are doing the things in a good way, okay? And if you can open it, si la pueden abrir ahí conmigo y pueden ir chequeando que van haciendo todo, that's perfect. So in this case, this was the, the sentences of the day, right? This was the question of the day. Here it says in a very clear way, answer these questions about yourself. Give a complete affirmative or negative answer, right? Are you from the United States? So you say, no, I am not from the United States, period. And it says, no se les olvide colocar el punto al final, 
right? No, I am not from the United States. And then you click on it and that's it, right? The sentence is correct. Is your teacher from Canada? Yes. <laughs> La Colonia. <Sí. laughs> La Colonia, Canada. So you say, no, she is not from Canada. Remember Canada with capital because it's the proper name of the country. No, she's not from Canada. And you submit it and that's correct. Is your English class in the morning? No, it is not. Or no, it is not in the morning. So that will be also correct, right? So uh, in this case, let me see if it works. No, it's not. Sure. There you go. No, it is not, or no, it is not in the morning. That will be sure. also correct. Yes? And two questions. Este, yo tuve esa, esa duda porque mm, no, no me salía y no sabía por qué. Uh -huh. En este caso, al final me di cuenta que era porque estaba usando él, o sea, he. Ah, ya. Yeah. No, sí. yeah. Pero en, en instruction no estaba... Claro, digo, digo yo, no sé. Ok, well, uh, it is maybe the, the problem. Uh -huh. Yes, Francisco. Eh, yo sigo teniendo ese problema porque yo todas esas respuestas, así como están, las, las he puesto, por lo menos en, en la cuatro, no sé si, si será, pero yo le puse yes, we are the same age. Uh -huh. Somos de la misma edad. <coughs> pero este... A mí igual, a mí así me dice que, que, o sea, me tira todo en rojo. Así que así Ajá. lo he dejado. ¿Qué ha pasado? Quizás no le pusiste punto. Ya probé el punto. Probemos. Sí. 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 Yes, we are the same age. Puede ser también un espacio. Ajá. Tenemos que cuidar que no les quede en espacio, que pongamos la coma, que uh -huh. no demos doble espacio entre palabras. Hay algunas okay. contractadas que como que no las... No los agarra. Si se fijan en este caso, yo les escribí todas sin contracciones para que no haya problema. Francisco, puede ab abrir ahorita, inténtelo. Eh, no estoy en casa. Ah, ok. But eh, I am going to send you a screenshot of this copia. one. I am going to send you a picture of this one on the chat. So you can have it, okay? Le voy a enviar una foto al chat a todos, así nadie me dice, no, teacher, no la tengo. Or you can watch this class again in YouTube. I am not giving a commercial and I don't receive money for that, right? But you can watch the class again tomorrow or at the time that you have a space in the class. So uh, you can recheck the sentences, okay? But right now I am going to send you a picture to the group, okay? And if you don't have any difficulty with this one, we can go and we can check on the next exercises. Okay, let me see. Yes, so I am going to send you the answers on the chat. And there you have it. And that is the, um, the answers. Those are the answers of this exercise. The other ones were a little bit easier because you just have to choose a correct answer. In this case, let's see, Tatiana Martinez, help me with the first one. You say, oh, that's Mrs. Smith. What type of question are we going to use? We, we learned this in the previous class. Si aquí tenemos a una persona, ¿qué tipo de pregunta vamos a usar? Tati, help me. Go. Okay, what is the correct option for this question if we have a person in the answer? Where, how, or who? 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 The next one, she is from Miami, Carolina Rivera. What is the correct option? If we have a place, she is from Miami. Where? 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 Very good. Where? Thank you for, for giving copy to Carolina. Where? It's Celia. Her first name. Let me see. Mr. Francisco, help me with this. Ahí es. Eh, 
What's her first name? ¿Cuál es su primer, cuál es su primer nombre? What's It's her Sarah. first? No first, okay? What's her first name? First. Name. It's Celia. Name. And you close your mouth. Name. Good. Teacher. Yes? Sorry, I have a question. Go ahead. Uh, when the word have S, is the same where is? Yeah, where is or what is? Yes. Okay. Yes, in that case, you are referring to the name. So that's why we have what is. What is her first name? How okay. is? It's not possible. And where is ¿Cómo? her first name? It's not possible. It's like, where is her first name? No sé, se nos ha perdido. <laughs> so that's not a correct option in this case. What? What is her first name? But what about the next one? The two students over there, their names are Jeremy and Karen. What option would you use on this one, Mr. Guillermo? Yes, uh, we use what are because uh, we are talking about the names of the people. What are the, what, uh -huh. what but are. In, in this case we, hey, we say, what are the two students over there? I'm oh, so sorry. Uh -huh. It's uh, who are, who are exactly. the two students over there? Very good. Who are, because if we say what are, que son esos dos estudiantes de allá? Students? <laughs> so it will be like, no. Their names are Jeremy and Karen. Who are? ¿Quiénes son? Right, very good. Let's see. Catherine Reyes, help me with number five. They from? They are from Vancouver, Canada. It's a place. Mm -hmm. Where are they from? That I from Vancouver, Canada. Very good. Where are they from? They are from Vancouver, Canada. The next one says, they are shy, but very friendly. Nos están explicando cómo son. They are shy, but very friendly. Mario Barahona, can you help me with this one? How? Oh. How are they like? How, How are they like? They Sorry, are no shy. Tenía el micrófono. Don't worry, don't worry. Okay, <clears throat> hagamos de caso que nada pasó. Mario Barahona, can you help me with this one? How are they like? They are shy, but very friendly. Very good. And in this one, you click on submit. And here you have the correct forms of the answers. The previous exercise to check on this unit was in the possessive adjectives. We were working on this and we did this exactly, this same exercise in the class. So you say, my name is R or Is, um. is, 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 is David Garth. The next one, class, tell me the answer. I am from Mexico. My family is my Mexico family. City. My, Mexico City. my family is in Mexico City. In Mexico City. My brother, a university student. Is, is my brother is, a university is, student. My brother is a university student. Excellent. Name is Carlos. My. My, my name, name is Carlos. Carlos. Ya ven, ya ven, eso es cuando nos dejamos ir así como hilo de media. Vea. My name is Carlos. His name is Carlos. The next one, Sun He Park. I am 20 years old. My name my is, is Sun He Park. My name is Sun He Park. I am 20 years old. Very good job. My name is Sun He Park. I am 20 years old. Very good job. My sister, a student here too. Our parents are in Korea right now. My, My sister, sister is, is a student here. Very good job. My sister is a student here too. Our parents are in Korea right now. Okay, hasta nos dimos duro pronunciando parents in class. I am... I am Elizabeth, but everyone calls me Beth. My last name is Silva. Her name is Silva. Her last name is Silva. Estamos hablando de ella o ella está hablando de ella? Ella está hablando de ella. My last name is Silva. Okay. It my says, last name is Silva. Exactly, my, because it says, my, I am yes. Elizabeth, but everyone calls me Beth. My last name is Silva. Very Silva. good. 
Mm. The next one, a student at City College. I'm. I am. I'm. 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 I'm a student at City College. Ok, en ese como está contractado es como que tuviéramos hambre, decimos am. Am. Como cuando le ponen una dona ahí enfrente. Am. 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 Because you don't have the separate words. And even if you have the separate words, they am a student at City College. The next mm -hmm. one. My parents are, 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 are in Canada, Canada on vacation, on vacation this, this week. week. Very good job, my dear <laughs> students. Fantastic. Fantastic job. So these are the evaluations that we have. On each video, on each video, you have a little Ay. activity here, right? You have a little activity at the end of the video. Casi siempre al final del video les hacen alguna pregunta o les hacen alguna sugerencia de tarea. So, es importante que también veamos los videos y que ustedes puedan participar de los discussion forums. Tal vez el discussion forum no es tan evaluado como el examen, pero siempre es importante que ustedes lo pongan en práctica, ¿ok? Así que, eh, sobre aviso, no hay engaño. La teacher nunca me dijo eso. Come on, I am telling you right now. So please work on that one. And here, the final evaluation that we have here is the exercise that we are going to do right now. It says, what's in a name? What's in a name? And for this one, we are going to move to our PPT here. I am going to go back to my PowerPoint presentation. Because here I have the the reading a little bit bigger. One question, and I am going to go and uh, ask you like in general, do you like your names? Do you like your two names? No. Yes. 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 Who says, yes. Who says Maybe. no? Maybe. Yes. Me. <laughs> Why? Uh, I don't like Xiomara. You don't like Xiomara? Don't like Xiomara. Why? I don't like Jose. You because like it's long. It's long. It's a long name, and and people sometimes uh, write my name with S or C. Xiomara. I have never heard that that they they write it with the with the incorrect letter. Yes, that is, that is my first time, but. Um, it is very curious, right? That that they do it like that. Okay, in Jose, why don't you like Jose? Don't like. You just don't like it. It's too common. See. Yeah, it's too common. Well, in my case, I am Evelyn Natalie, but I don't like Evelyn. Evelyn is like very, I don't know, very angry or something. Cuando me dicen como que, Evelyn. Como que no, uh -huh. como que no combina bien. I, I don't do that much with Evelyn. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, uh, I, I, I like it because they say that Evelyn is the angry teacher for the exams. And Natalie is the... <laughs> yeah, and Natalie is the, the cool teacher for the classes, okay. right? Okay, Natalie. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's what my kid says, right? Eso es lo que me dice mi hijo. With the glasses, I am Evelyn, and without the glasses, I am Natalie. Hey, so teacher what... Evelyn. <laughs> <laughs> teacher Evelyn. In the university, someone told me, it's the evil in, and I was like, <gasps> no, I am not very bad. So, but I don't like it. But in general, Many people get a name because of a relative, because of a family member. Because, because... <laughs> because... <laughs> yeah, <laughs> because of your of your grandmother, because of your grandfather. I don't know why. What is the reason of your name? But we're going to read a little bit. In El Salvador, what are the most popular names for boys? Jose is the first Jose, one. Jose, Juan, Carlos, Juan, Carlos, Juan, Juan. Baby, Mario, Mario, Brian, 
Brian. Mario. Por los Kevin. dos más comunes. <laughs> Brian. Kevin. I don't know why, but there are like thousands of Kevins. Yeah. But Julio. Who, Julio, right? Julio is a very common name. And what are some of the uncommon names that you have heard? That you say, huh? What's that name? What are some uncommon names that you have heard for boys? Natanael. Natanael, uh huh. That's uncommon. Another one? Ariel. Ariel. Yeah, you don't you don't know if it's a detergent or if it is a, a mermaid or a boy, a girl, you never know. Yeah. Ariel. Another one. Well, Usnavi. Poof. Usnavi. But the problem is that, and it's real, it, it exists. The problem is that the parents live in Sonsonate, near the port. And they saw the, the, the big ships coming with U.S. Navy. And they call the kid Usnavi because of that. <laughs> yeah. Abi <laughs> Malek. Abimal, Abimalek my, my and Abimelech. Oh, really? Abimelech and Abimelech. Yeah, that, those are names that you say like, hmm? okay. And for the ladies, what are the most common names that we have in El Salvador? Marita. Maria. Maria. Yeah. Maria. Carla. Ana. Rosa. <laughs> Ana, Rosa, Carla. And with Maria, Carla Maria, Carmen Maria, Juana Maria, Ana Maria, all the all the things are Adriana Maria. So it's, it's Maria uh, Jose. Maria Jose, right? And for boys, ah, it's sí. also esa combinación sí me gusta, Maria Jose. Maria Jose, that's pretty. Oh, Jose nice. Maria. <laughs> Jose Maria. <No. laughs> Jose Maria, like with a bronco, a bronco member. <laughs> okay, so those Lupe. are Lupe, Lupe for girls, Guadalupe. Guadalupe. Guadalupe, it's very common. Carmen. Carmen. <laughs> Carmen. And uncommon names that you have heard for ladies? Predes Vinta. Así se llamaba mi mamá. Predes. What? Fre, Fredes Vinta. Fredes Vinta. Oh Emperatriz. My, my goodness, Fredes Vinta Emperatriz. It's the first name that I listened to, the first time that I listened to that name. Okay. Quizás sí, porque más. antes se basaban más a los calendarios, creo que por eso es que utilizaban, eh, eh, ponían esos nombres así y algo extraño. O sea, <risa> ya, ya lo voy a mandar a hacer de tarea. Quiero comprar las burbujas de la sirena. Ajá. A mí en ¿Por? sirena. <risa> ¿Por qué no nos compran burbujas a todos? <risa> creo que ya lo voy a mandar a ver cómo se llamarían ustedes según el calendario. No aparezco. The, oh. <laughs> the no-name kid. Okay, and here in El Salvador, besides the name, something very famous and very common is to have a nickname, right, with the name. And in some cases, people don't know your name, but they know your nickname. And they say, like, no, El Chele. And they say, like, Chele. And they say, like, no, Juan Carlos. ¿Quién es Juan Carlos, bro? El cello. El cello. <laughs> and we have eh, a whole collection of nicknames that I am not going to ask you, right? Yes, la colocha. Catherine. And Catherine. El negro. El negro. El negro, right? Here we have el negro, el chele, right? Those are the, the two forms of, of nicknames that we have in our country. And in some cases, it, they are not like to offend anybody, but it's a, it's a way of living that we have. So what is in a name? We're going to go over the reading after this introduction that we had. And it says, your name is very important to you. When you think of yourself, you think of your name first. It is an important part of your identity. If you don't know any word, tell me, okay? Si hay alguna palabra nueva o que no la conocen, tell me. Right now, the two most popular names for babies in the United States are Jacob for boys and Emily for girls. Why are these names popular? And why are some names unpopular? Names become popular because of famous actors, TV or book characters, or athletes. Popular names suggest 
very positive things. Unpopular names suggest negative things. Surprisingly, people generally agree on the way they feel about names. Here are some common opinions about names from a recent survey. It says, boys names, George. It means average or boring. Jacob, creative, friendly. Michael, good looking, athletic. Stanley means nerdy or serious. For the girls, Betty means old fashioned, average. Emily, independent, adventurous. Jane, plain and ordinary. Nicole, beautiful and intelligent. So those are the meanings of the names. Do you know the meaning of your name? Sure. Yes? What's, what's the meaning of average? Average. Average. It's like a eh, termino medio. No, promedio. Promedio, right? Average. Uh, average. Uh -huh. promedio. It's like, yeah. It's not the best. It's not the top. It's not the last one. It's like, so, so. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, pues, es lo que hay. Right? Promedio, average. No es como lo más brillante que tenemos, ni lo más feo, pero ah, average. Yeah. The meaning of plain and ordinary. The meaning of plain is like neutral, so, simple, plain, ordinary. Ordinary means like that, simple. It's like, oh, you are very ordinary. Right? It's like, eh, meh. Right, that's ordinary. Nerdy, it's someone that it's really intelligent. Nerdy. Serious, it's like your teacher. It's very serious. Eh, no, <laughs> I am not serious. And let's see. I think the other ones are, are normal words that you know the meaning. Do you know any, do you have any other question about vocabulary? Teacher. Yes. What is the meaning of recent survey? Recent survey. Uh, a, survey recent. a survey, it's a set of questions that you get to get information. It's like, where are you from? El Salvador. Uh, how old are you? 27. Um, do you like yellow or pink? Pink. Do you like cats or dogs? Dogs. Do you like um, teacher Nati or teacher Juanito? Ah, teacher Nati. So that's a survey. It's a, like a checklist for you to get information. It is very common in supermarkets or in places like, tienes cinco minutos para contestar una encuesta. And so like, yeah. And the survey is like a hundred questions. And then you are like, uh -huh, no, sí, no, sí, no, yes, no, yes, no, yes, no, yes, no. Is it over? It's like, thank you very much. That's a survey. Good. Any other question? Uh, what does mean uh, common? Common. Mm -hmm. It's the same as in Spanish. Come on. Come on. Come on. Yeah. Any other question? Teacher. Yeah. It's only a question. Uh -huh. la, la palabra plain, yo veo que se escribe igual como cuando uno pide una hamburguesa. Um, uh -huh. Plain. It's like. It's simple. Uh -huh. Simple. In the same. Okay. Simple. In this, in this case, plain will be like, como sin gracia. Sin okay. más nada. Sin cambios. Plain. Son plain. las características según el nombre. Exactly. In this case, it is what your name means. In many of the cases, all the names have a meaning, right? Hay muchos, en muchos de los casos, los papás les ponen los nombres a los chicos con un significado específico. Right? In this case, <clears throat> those are the meanings of the names. Or in other cases, they are just because of a famous character, a soccer player, right? We have a lot of neighbors around. His boyfriend. Yeah, because of the boyfriend. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I saw that meme, right? And it says like, yo me llamo María Guadalupe y descubrí las cartas del exnovia de mi papá que era María Guadalupe. <laughs> It's like, okay, <laughs> the reason of the name, you see? So why do parents give their children unpopular names? The biggest reason is tradition. 
Many people are named after a family member. Of course, opinions can change over time. A name that is unpopular now might become popular in the future. That's good news for all the George and Betty's out there because George is average, boring. And Betty, old fashioned, average. Imagine they have a negative meaning there. So in this case, we have some questions right here. Uh, for sure, your name is part of your identity, yes or no? Yes. 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 People, yes. people often feel the same way about a particular name. Yes, yes. or no? Yes. ¿Se pueden, ¿te puede dar lo mismo? Si tiene yes. un nombre okay. u otro. Yes. It can sí. be, it can yeah. be, right? Yeah, but imagine if you are named uh, Pancracio and the other one is Brad Pitt. Maybe Pancracio is not going to feel like very sexy like Brad Pitt, right? <laughs> It'll be like, I, I have my things, they say, Pancracio. Boys' names are more popular than girls' names. What do you think? Mm. No. no, 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 right. In some cases, they it, they depend on the name. People are often named after family members. Yes, 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 yes. 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 Opinions about names can change in the time. Yes, 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 yes. Because, yes. because imagine all the variants in the past, now they are very popular, and now, so you see right? It, it, you never know. You never know when is it going to change. So the last evaluation here, right, going back to the platform, I am going to go back to the platform. There you go. Your name is part of your identity, yes or no? True. 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 People often feel the same way about a particular name. True. 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 Okay, let's see. Let me see, let me see. I have the answer right here. Some people, surprisingly, people generally agree on the way they feel about names, right? Right. So in this case, it might be true. Let's see. We're going to check later. Boys' names are more popular than girls' names. People are often named after family members. True. 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 Opinions True. about names can change. True. 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 Let's see. Ta -da. There. It's, it's correct. So this is the first part of the platform. You see, the first section was not that horrible. Okay. No le tenemos que tener tanto miedo a los ejercicios. They are very easy. Okay. So in section number two of the platform or in unit number two, we are going to talk about jobs. This is a very interesting section because you are going to be able to actually describe the activities that you do. And we are going to learn simple present, right? I know that you know simple present, but I am going to go back here to my presentation. Do you know how to use simple present? ¿Saben cómo conjugar los verbos en presente simple? No. No? Yes or no? No. No. Yes. Okay. A little bit, right? So we're going to use it. In this one, we're going to, uh, we have only one, two, three evaluations, right? We have three evaluations that I hope that you can complete after we finish this class. So let's go back here with the names, okay? And here, I am going to go to the next unit. Here we go. Okay, here we go. We're going to talk about jobs, right? Remember, or agreements, I didn't mention them before. No se los mencioné al principio, pero se los menciono ahorita. Practice your English as much as possible. Be respectful, attend all your classes. Keep your cameras active, work on the educational platform, and keep an active and cooperative activity on the WhatsApp group. 
okay? So we have WH questions and statements. I have three questions here for you. What is your occupation? Where do you work? And what do you do? What is your occupation? Where do you do? Where do you work? Sorry. And what do you do? I need three volunteers to answer this question for me. For hands up for the volunteers. Me. Okay. Me. Roberto, Jonathan, and... Francisco. And Francisco. Good. Roberto, you start. Uh, I need to read the question. You need to read the... No, you need to answer the questions. You need to answer the questions. What is your occupation? Where oh, okay. do you work? And what do you do? What is your occupation? Mm -hmm. uh, you say, I, I have the examples there. I am a teacher, I work at home, and I teach English. Those are yeah. my answers. Uh, what about okay. you? What is your occupation? I am engineering. I am an engineer. I am I'm engineer. Mm -hmm. I'm work in Fobiar. Mm -hmm. And I build in uh, highways. I build highways. I build, I build highways. highways. Very good. Claps for Roberto, people. Thank you. Son gratis, acuérdense. No se desgasta aquí la mano. There you go. Si no, una reacción igual vale. There you go. The next one. Jonathan. Uh, what is your occupation? And I'm um, a student, English, and uh, for drugstore. Okay. I study um, English and I work in a drugstore. Right. In a drugstore. Ah, very good. Continue. Uh, uh, where do you work? No, uh, what? This... Because you work in a drugstore. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Uh, what do you do? Um, um, ¿Cómo lo puedes decir? Atender a clientes. I attend clients. Attend client. Uh, solo eso sería. Only that. Atención you, a cliente. You, I attend clients, right? I, I attend clients. Yes, very good. Or you can say, uh, if you are on the phone, you say, I support customers. I support customers. Uh -huh. Si los atienden en vivo, es I attend clients. Si los atiende por teléfono, I support customers. Uh, okay. Very Thank good. You. Thank you. Anótelo por ahí en su cuaderno. Eh, Francisco, go ahead. Eh, what is your occupation? I am attend client. Okay. I am, you are customer support. Negative, sales. Oh, you are? Venter. Ah, okay. So you say, I am a salesman. I am a salesman. Uh, salesman uh, is man. vendedor. Vendedor. Right? Yes, uh, I am a salesman. Uh, what do you work uh, at where I work? How do you how do you say ambulante in la calle? Delivery. Okay. okay, I work on my own. Si es propio es I work on my own. Yo trabajo por mí mismo. If it's personal, pero si es para una compañía, I work in uh, delivery. Or I am in the delivery service. Or I work ambos. I work on the streets, you say. Para decir ambos. <laughs> Both. 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 Okay, both. sería eh, in both. You y, work in both. Eh, you work in both. And what do you do? I student. Eh, I work and I student English. I work and I study English, right? And in your job, you sell things, right? You sell things. Usted vende de todo. I sell things. Okay, what is specifically what you sell? Food. Food. Ah, okay, food. 
that's good. Okay, send the number. <laughs> I'm not kidding. <laughs> Food, very good. Let's see. I need to listen to a lady. Let's listen to Monica Escobar. Answer the questions. Moniquita. Hello. One, two, three. Si ven a Mónica le dicen que le estoy llamando. Eh, Marisol. Desarme. Oh, Carolina. Go ahead. And Heidi, later. What is your passion? I am a saleswoman. I work at in the Constancia. I sell Coca Cola. You sell drinks. You sell drinks. That's good. Drink. Good. Very good. Carolina, go ahead. What mm -hmm. is your your occupation? I am cook. Cocinera, cook or I am a cook or I am a chef. Oh, I am a chef. Where do you work at? I work at um, cafeteria. Cafeteria. At a cafeteria, I work at a cafeteria. I work at cafeteria. At a, at a, en at, una. At, at a cafeteria. At, espérame. Sería at? At a, cafeteria. Uh, at a cafeteria. Mm -hmm. And what do, what, do? You, what do you do? What do you do? Sería ahí es... Estudiante está en inglés. Ok, pero en este caso, ¿qué do you do? Esta pregunta va enfocada a su trabajo. Si usted es un uh -huh. chef, ¿qué do you do? I cook food. I cook food. I cook food. Very good. Todos los que no están contestando en el micrófono, contéstenlo en su cuaderno. Ok. The next one, we're going to go with eh, Mr. Guillermo. Uh, uh -huh. uh, what is your occupation? Well, uh, I am a supervisor. Uh, where do you work? I am work at the airport. Okay. What do you do? Well, uh, I have a lot of occupations because I am bringing custom service for all passengers traveling to the USA. And I am watching all operations in the in the airport. Oh my goodness. So you have a lot of occupations and a lot of different branches of your work. Thank you, Guillermo. Thank you very much. We are going to listen to another lady, Miss Marisol de Cermeño. Go ahead. There you go. The microphone, sweetie. Yes. Accountant assistant. You are an accountant assistant. Ooh, with numbers. Another level of life. Yeah, I respect numbers. <laughs> Where, do <you> <laughs> work? Where do you work? In my office in Ciudad Delgado. Okay. E, what do you do? Uh, prepare documents important. You prepare important documents, right? Important yes. documents. Very good. And the last one that I am going to ask. Thank you, Marisol. Very good. Angelica Lasso, go ahead. Uh, what is your occupation? I am a graphic designer. Oh, cool. Where do you work? I work in a textile fabric. What do you do? I design patterns for clothes. Excellent. Wow, what an interesting job. Very awesome. Thank you very much for all my volunteers and my not so volunteers, but that's what that was very good. Right. A veces hay voluntarios y a veces son democráticos. I, I really like it. <laughs> Thank you very much for answering the questions. So I have here a short conversation and we are going to practice it. I need Miss, let me see, Miss Catherine Reyes and Mr. Marlon Barrientos. Go ahead.
action. One, two, and three. Uh, where do you work, Andrea? I work at Thomas to Travel. Oh, really? What do you do there? I am guy. I take people on tour to countries in South America, like Peru. How interesting. Yes, it is a great job. I love it. And what do you do? I am a student and I have a part-time job too. Oh, where do you work? In a fast food restaurant. Which restaurant? Hamburger Heaving. Thank you very much. Thank you. You were very, very calm and peace, right? En calma, lento y en paz. That was good. Good, very good. Claps for you. Yeah. The only thing that when you are giving information about you that you consider important, you have to sound that the information is important because you can tell me, you cannot tell me. It's a great job. I love it. Now, right? Oh, a menos que lo lleven a punta de cuchillo al trabajo todos los días, I will believe it. Right? If you tell me, how interesting. Si yo le estoy contando la vida y fíjate que es así y súper chivo y que no sé qué y hacemos esto, aquello y que no sé How interesting. How are you going to feel? It's like, thank you. Ya no te cuento nada. Ajá. Uh -huh. Like, right? Excellent. Lo vamos a practicar y después lo vamos a volver a hacer con Catherine y con Marlon, ¿ok? <clears throat> listen first and then we're going to practice okay so right now everybody we're going to listen it says where do you work Andrea I work at Thomas Cook Travel oh really what do you do there I am a guide I take people on tours to countries in South America like Peru how interesting yes it's a great job I love it and what do you do I am a student and I have a part-time job too. Oh, where do you work? In a fast food restaurant. Which restaurant? Hamburger Heaven. So it's different, right? It's different. Everybody after me, open the microphones. Where do you work, Andrea? 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 Andrea. I work at Thomas Cook Andrea. I work, I work at Thomas, 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 Thomas Cook Travel. Oh, I work really? at Thomas Cook Travel. I work, I work, I work at, at Thomas, Thomas Cook Travel. Travel. Oh, really? 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 What do you do there? What do you do there? What do you do there? Do you do there? there. I'm a guide. I'm, I'm a guy. I take guy. people on tours in countries in South America, okay. like Peru. I take, I take people on tours to countries, to countries in America. South America, America, like Peru. How interesting. How, how interesting. interesting. How interesting. 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 Yes, it's a great job. Yes, yes. Oh, great job. Oh, I love it. it. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. And what do you do? And what do you do? What do, you do? I'm a student. I'm a student. I'm a student. I'm a student. And I have a part-time job too. And I have a part-time part part job, job too. Oh, oh, where do you oh. work? Where do you work? In a fast food restaurant? In a fast food restaurant? Which restaurant? Which restaurant? Hamburger Heaven. Hamburger Heaven. Hamburger Heaven. Very good. Claps for everybody. Okay. Now, now I am going to call back with. Catherine and Marlo. 
Okay. One, two, and three. Action. Hey, ¿qué pasó? Acción, acción. Hey, action. Yeah. Uh -huh. Where do you work, Andrea? Again, 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 again. One, two, and three. <laughs> action. Where do you work, Andrea? I work at Thomas Good Travel. Oh, really? What do you do there? I'm a, I'm a guide. I take people on tours to countries in South America, like Peru. How interesting. Yes, it, it is a great job. I love it. And what do you do? I am a student and, and I have a part-time job too. Oh, where do you work? In a fast food restaurant. Which restaurant? Hamburger Heaven. Hamburger Heaven. Very good. It was better than yeah. the previous time. That was good. That was good. Very good. Now, let's go with Jocelyn and Jonathan. Action. Where do you work, Andrea? I work at Thomas Good Travel. Oh, really? What do you do there? I'm a guy. I take people and tours to countries in South America, like Peru. Oh, interesting. Oh, yes, it's a great job. I love it. And what do you do? I'm a student and I have a part-time job too. Oh, where do you work? In a fast food restaurant. Which restaurant? Hamburger heaven. Very good. That was very good. We are improving. We are improving. Let's go with Guillermo and Angelica. Where do you work, Andrea? Angela, sorry. I'm... Oh, there you go. Oh, Angelica. No, no, no. Continue. Continue. No, continue. No. Continue. continue. Yeah, Angelica, okay. continue. Okay, okay. Uh, I work at Thomas Cook Travel. Oh, really? What do you do there? I'm a guide. I take people on tours to countries in South America, like Peru. How interesting. Yes, it's a great job. I love it. And what do you do? I'm a student and I have a part-time job too. Oh, where do you work? In a fast food restaurant. Which restaurant? Hamburger heaven. Very good job. Very nice. Thank you, Angelica. Thank you very, very, very much. Excellent job. So, in this case, we have examples of WH questions. Can you give me some of the examples that you can see in the sentences with the WH questions? The first. Where do you work, Andrea? Where do you work? Okay. Where do you work? Okay, what a horrible what, line. What do you what do, 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 you do, do, you do there? there? What do you there? What do you do there? Another question. How interesting. Ha. What do you do? Where do you Which work? Restaurant. Okay, Where very good. Work? What do you do? Where do you work? Which restaurant? no le dije how interesting? Como una pregunta. It's an ex it's an it's an exclamation, right? It is showing it is showing interest, like how interesting. Mm -hmm. Nice. Right? We need to and we need to use it, right? We need to feel like the the happiness of the moment, right? How interesting. It's nice, right? And for example, when you say, Oh, really? Right? Oh, really? It's a very complicated word. Porque depende quién se la diga y en qué momento, significará muchas cosas diferentes. Eh, si de repente usted ve que su esposa está un poco enojada y llega y le cuenta algo y ella le dice, Oh, really? Mejor me alejo. You better run. <laughs> And if you say something, si llega y le dice algo a la esposa y le dice, Oh, really? It's different. También corre. Como que 
también corra. Pero <risa> <risa> dice like, eh, imagine que, que, que llega dos días antes de la guinaldo y dice, oh, really? So, stay oh. there. <risa> oh, really? Oh, fantastic. Oh, amazing, right? So, stay there. She's nice. It's, it's fun, right? But eh, how interesting. Dicen, uh -huh. Te cuidas. Uh -huh. <laughs> no sabes si es amor o amenaza. Bro. <laughs> yeah, I was like, <laughs> cuídate. Te cuidas, oíste. <laughs> you never know. It's like, how interesting, depending on the intonation that you give it, it's going to have a different meaning. Eh, imagine if you say like, sí, fíjate que me quebré el pie en el trabajo y el Andrea me llevó al hospital. Mm. Like, how interesting. <laughs> how interesting. Te has quedado en el hospital. Uh -huh. <laughs> Who, who's Andrea? Oh, <laughs> in your foot is like this, but she doesn't Andrea care me. about it. <laughs> Andrea, Andrea mechanic. Uh, <laughs> you see? Uh, so, depending on the intonation. Por eso les hacía, por eso les hacía énfasis en que si vamos a expresar algo, tenemos que expresarlo bien. Porque si me dice, I love it. Mm, beautiful. Mm, I love it. Yeah. Amor, te hice esta pizza. Mira qué bonita me quedó. I love it. Ahora oh, difícil. I love it, look. Oh. So it's different. It's different. I love it. Nice. It's different. So you have to be very careful with that. And how interesting is not a question in this case because it's showing a response. But where do you work, right? You are looking for a place, right? What do you do there? You are looking for a specific occupation and a specific activity. What do you do there, right? You need to explain the activities that you do. What do you do? In this case, it means different from what do you do there. ¿Qué haces ahí? Es las actividades que realizas. Pero what do you do? I am a student. I am a teacher. I am an engineer, etc. Where do you work? The place. Which restaurant? Imagine if you say, I work in Chicken Campero. Which Chicken Campero? We have like 300 in El Salvador, right? Which one? Right? Ah, here in Escalón, here in Paseo, here in... So you have to specify there the place. Good. So let's move on this business to the next level in these last two minutes to give the introduction to what we are going to do tomorrow. This is just a little introduction for the third person singular rules. This works with verbs, okay? This works with verbs. Muchos quizás han visto este tipo de reglas y me dicen, ah, con la S, con la IES, con la ES. Si eso es para plurales, teacher. No, in this case, this is for third person. It works with verbs, right? And I am going to assign a little homework for you to go and watch the videos on the platform or for you to investigate hey, for you to investigate the different rules and the different forms of changing right in this one it's important to work also on the pronunciation right because you have work works it it's play plays right you have to mention the s at the end And this is only for the third person. Eso solo cambia con he, she, and it. Okay? When you are giving information in simple present about he, she, and it. Swim, swims. Write, writes. Study, me pueden decir, I study. But if you are talking about your mother, she studies. I cry, but she cries. I try, but he tries, right? I spy, but she spies better, right? Be careful. <laughs> fly, so you say, he, uh, I fly, but he flies, okay? I go, he goes. I wash, he washes, washes. I watch TV. He watches TV with me, right? I mix the sentences, but he mixes the sentences better. I kiss my family, 
and he kisses his family as well, right? So these are the different forms of changing the rules for the third person singular. So I need you please to give a little bit of investigation to this for tomorrow's class, okay? So you have your little homework. Les dejo la pequeña tarea para el día de mañana. Investiguemos el uso de las formas del presente simple para tercera persona. Okay? So have a beautiful night and I am going to see you tomorrow for another class. Thank okay, you. Bye. Good have night. A beautiful bye. night. Good night. Good bye. night. Bye. Thank you. Have a beautiful night. Bye. Beautiful night. Good night. Good night.